more calm than my sister. Who tell you? Who told you I'm more calm than my sister? Who So in today's video, I want to talk about a family revelation and a dream come true testimony. So before I get started, I want to address one or two. Nas Glory is my elder sister, in case all of you want to know and the ones that keep asking all the time. Yes, she's my elder sister and I want all of you to respect that fact and respect her. Because she's the reason why we all have platforms. I joshua eric even the upcoming ones so please stop comparing i and my sister because it's disrespectful i find it disrespecting to see somebody comparing my sister with me saying i am mom i am more calm than my sister who tell you who told you i'm more calm than my sister who told you that ha i am not calm ha. my sister you seen there is even more calm than i do so forget all this shimbo i'm showing you Hey, just that I respect myself. Don't come for me. That's that's the little thing I want to tell you. Hey, so forget all this innocent face. I am friendly. I am nice. But if you come for me, we will give you glass balls. We be the one begging. I'm sorry, you. I don't know say you go rich like this. So, in access to what I'm saying, please. That woman there is our second mom. Do you see? She's our God. We are seeing in human form. So please respect the fact that she's my older sister thank you so much and to the today's video i am not glory when she was still in kuwait we have been planning on what we want to do for the family but hmm, things happened my sister died you know so many things like things that are scrambling like we're like what's happening but we did not give up because we already set our plans and let me tell you something if you have an african mom and you sent your money to rent a house for her and it's not what you saw please don't go and fight your mother because african mom are way different now number one they are economical you won't want your mother to go and rent a house of two million naira. meanwhile she saw a house of two hundred and fifty thousand that has three rooms a parlor a dining and in the house of two million there is the same three rooms Dini and Paolo, no, now she wants to save the 1.75, right? And do something, but because you've lived abroad and you've seen the luxury house, the environment, you know, you want to do the same for your family. But when when my sister gave money to my mom to rent a house, it's not what we live. When she traveled, she said, This is not what I really wanted. You understand? But you know, as African mom, we can't beat her now. Ha, huh? now she born also. And again, I like what my sister did. She did not move out. Because I know some people that when they saw that house, they would get disappointed and maybe they want to suffer their mom. They'll be like, she will stay there. You understand? But she did not move out because I know so many people that will go and rent a house, a luxury one, because maybe they are content creators and they want their mother to stay there forever because of what she did. But she stayed with them. You know, I was so happy about that. And... It didn't stop at that she was trying to renovate but that kind of house how they want to renovate that so the best thing was like she called me she was like oh babe mama, now to just go look for better house room. i was like okay which location do you want to stay she said rayfield actually rayfield is a big man area in yours like it's a um a government reserved residence for all the politicians you understand and yeah, so and you know, if they say you they live for Rayfield, oh more they will say oh more when I follow. So she really wanted to stay in that environment. And secondly, because of the security, you understand. Uh -huh. So while I was talking to my sister, there are many houses she sent to me. Oh my God, there is this house she saw. It was so beautiful, like it was finished, built, and they are looking for tenants to stay there. But that man. Hmm. He said something that really got me angry. He said, 
Um, you see this house? I don't want to give him Ibo. <laughs> see, Ibo they too dirty. I'm like, ah. But I know saying uh normally it's it's um it's a fun like it's something that they really say about this certain tribe, the Yoruba. I'm so sorry, you know, they said they are dirty. You understand? And when I heard the man said he can never give his house to an evil person because evil is a dirty. Even the man too is an evil. Like, okay, will I say ha? People don't join the trend. I was laughing. There's nothing my sister did not beg that man to release the house for us. But the man, I think that house wasn't meant for us. So um to 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 explain further. So um please don't get that clip I said Yorubas are dirty because um there is this they call them endorphin manu like that and they say they are dirty. It's not as if all of them are dirty. I have Yoruba friends that are clean, like very clean. So, and I have to have some that are still dirty. You understand? It's just like changing the, the narratives about certain tribe. But when the guy said even Igbos are dirty too, so I was like, okay, fine. So my sister was like, okay. My sister was like, okay. Since you don't want to release the house, so they saw an agent. The agent got them another luxury apartment. Guys, that house is finer than the first one. But the thing is. My mommy told us that she needed a house where people are walking because that one is a bit isolated. You understand? Anything can happen. You know how the Fulani headsmen behave. They'll just bundle your house and slaughter you, kill you. You know? So that was how we, we ended up not picking that one because that one, it's great. it was supposed to be for ours. The apartment, the compound, you know? That house is fine. And my sister was ready to pay. But you know we have to respect our mom because she too she's a seer so she might have seen something that made us want to pick that one so that was the second one so the third one was seen by my sister's husband online so when she went there it was actually beautiful my, my mommy's spirit accepted it so that was how my sister paid for that apartment you understand so that was how we moved in and my mother couldn't believe that she's going to move in in such house you know she was you, can, you could see the joy on her face on her body you know i'm super excited that my sister actually accomplished her mission in going back to nigeria part of her mission in going because more are coming you know and there is the biggest one again coming up that will be next year i'm not the one to steal it Shh. Let me keep my mouth so just anticipate and another one that will be ending that will be coming up ending of this year and i'm so happy about that my sister is really doing the most and i'm super proud of her because i know there are there are siblings that will forget their family but i'm i'm happy that my sister is still family oriented she knows where she came from and that was part of the dream come through and sometimes i remind her i was like hi ah, sis do you remember that time you were thinking of how to Furnish our house, buy things, you know, do this, do this. She now started smiling. She was like, Oh, more finally, dream come true. I was like, Okay, you know, um, that's that's one thing I'm, I'm, I'm trying to share with you. Please don't give up, okay? And if you have parents that will do different things from what you ask them to do, please don't get angry and don't move away. They need you, they need, they need your love, they need your support, you know, just stay with them. Mm -hmm because you don't know tomorrow anything can happen and I, you don't want to see had i know right so and coming from the country where everybody likes to stay together but father mother grandfather grandmother like they like they like the extended family living so you know so the family orientation didn't just start here it's from home so that was what i wanted to share with you all and that was a testimony and that's a dream come true so please keep safe and stay out of trouble and always respect your elders <laughs> i don't talk like auntie bye bye